Hello. Lastly, but not leastly, we will be doing a quick sort. This, as its name might suggest, is the quickest one of all, but also the most complicated. We start by choosing a pivot value. In this case, we will choose the middle of the array. Book number three. Now, we select an I and a J at the left and right ends of the pivot. So these two are our I's and J's. Now, we go through it is five, is the, is A, is the element in the array at I less than the pivot? And is the element in the array at J greater than the pivot? In this case, neither of those are true. So these two elements are exchanged And then we increment i and j, or increment i and decrement j. So i is now at this element, and j is now here. Now, are these in their proper elements, re proper places, excuse me, relative to the pivot? In this case, they are. So 1 is less than 3, and 4 is greater than 3. So increment i to here, decrement j to here. Now is is i less than pivot it is not but j is greater than pivot so this stays we decrement j i stays where it is so i is now here j is now here now is the element in the array at i less than the pivot and is the element in the array at j greater than or greater than the pivot neither of those are true so we switch these. And now, basically, the we increment i, decrement j. Now, j, i is here and j is here. The two items have crossed. So now, this phase in the quicksort is done. All of the elements to this side are less than or equal to the pivot. All of the elements to this side are greater than or equal to pivot. So now, these are, in effect, two separate subarrays. Each will be sorted now on its own. So we go into this part. Now we choose again the middle element in the array and an i and a j as well. Well are these in their right places? In this case the same thing as before. The element of j is greater than the pivot but the element at i is, is, is also greater than the pivot. It is not less than so j is decremented, i stays where it is. Now these two get switched because the same situation as before. Now increment i, decrement j, i and j have crossed. The phase in this part of the array right now is complete. So this three element array is sorted. Now for this four element array, we'll just choose We'll choose this one. We'll just choose the first element in the array. It really doesn't matter what the pivot is. It will all be sorted in the end. We'll choose this one as the pivot. Now, I will start here and J will start here. In this case, I is equal to the, I is greater than the pivot, but, or I, I is not greater than nor less than the pivot. It is the pivot. And J is less than the pivot. So these will be switched. Now, increment i, decrement j, i and j are here. Now, is the element at j greater than the pivot? And is the element at i less than the pivot? In this case, in the array, at the moment, it is not. So, these two, or no, excuse me, this, basically, so, we will have to eventually, of course, this will end up right here. This will be switched with that. And these two will be switched like this. And we will once again have our sorted array of Harry Potter books.